Thank you, Yasser. We are with Stephen Burgard, the president of Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. Tell us about uh, what you do there and your connection with the St. Louis Chess Club. Sure. So I'm six years now in St. Louis as president of Cardinal Glennon, and uh, Cardinal Glennon is one uh, of the country's top 50 children's hospitals, full service, and we represent uh, the care and needs of children, everything from routine doctor's visits with a primary care pediatrician all the way to uh, heart transplants and neonatal ICU trauma services and everything that uh, the children throughout our region might need with a special emphasis and heart for the most vulnerable. And what is the connection with the St. Louis uh, Chess Club? Talk to us about that. So, um, so one of my children was very interested in, in chess and a very close friend of mine was involved with uh, the annual chess event. And uh, so I actually joined up in support of his work and enjoyed the event and had uh, the passion that everyone had for helping children uh, realize their full potential in every way, uh, in this case through chess, that um, I chose to become involved about three years ago. You are also the chairman for uh, this year's strategy across the board, a uh, gala that we used to raise funds. Tell us a bit about that. Sure. So for the Scholastic Chess programs, um, you know, funds are needed in order to, to create the support for the program staff and, and the work with the kids. And um, Cardinal Glennon, out of the 600,000 kids that are in our region, we serve over 100,000 of those kids every single year in primary care and about 100,000 kids in you know, the hospital and other places. So the idea was that we have an opportunity also to help children become more engaged in chess and the event represents such a great way to connect with the community and give back that uh, my wife and I felt uh, very passionate about this work. Absolutely, and we see some graphics about strategy across the board. How can uh, people join? How can the public join? So uh, go to stlouischessclub.org. Uh, so um, the, all the information is there. It's at the Chase, and it's in the, of course, on ballroom. It's gorgeous, a very famous uh, room here in St. Louis. And there's also a chance to participate in our silent auctions for those who aren't in St. Louis. You can participate as well and support the kids and donate and uh, help expand programs. Mm -hmm. Stephen, do you play chess? Do you play with your son? I only play with my son and uh, he wins. Who's winning? Okay. <laughs> that was my next question. Yeah. Um, it's just been a great experience and a joy for me. And in fact, at the hospital now, we have a program with the chess club. More than 60 children just in the very first year have been engaged uh, with uh, someone to mentor them in chess and it has created great relationships with their parents So if you're hospitalized for seven days ten days and you're a child and you don't get to move around so much What do you do in your free time? Well, learning and playing chess with your family is a great gift and something we're proud to share with these children That's amazing. Thank you for everything you do guys any questions. Yeah, Stephen first of all once again uh, our uh, Welcome 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 good to see you on the show. Uh, thank you for everything you did you do. I remember as a 13-year-old, I went to the Children's Orthopedic Hospital in Seattle, and I once did a chess simultaneous against uh, the children in the ward that I visited, and it was a really endearing experience. Do you have uh, programs like that where chess grandmasters can go to the hospital and, sh and play with the kids? Yes, uh, so that was the heart of our share of the partnership was to invest in bringing uh, grandmasters and, and excellent chess players like yourself into relationship with our children. Right. Uh, again, since they're there for a week to 10 days on average, mm -hmm. uh, it's just a great opportunity for them not only to experience the journey of their health concerns, but also uh, participate in learning new things. So whether that's music, dance, art, other creative therapies, uh, but certainly chess has been an extraordinarily positive and popular program for us. We have an events coordinator that works with individuals to get them to participate with the kids and schedules everything. So uh, it's just been uh, phenomenal to give these kids uh, that type of experience. And I'm sure 
one of them will be winning one of these <laughs> uh, very soon. Yeah. Nice. For sure, uh, for sure. No, it's a you. great program. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Stephen. Very, very thank nice. You. And good luck with your strategies across the board. And again, uh, folks can, um, it's called a silent auction. You'll see all kinds of items and things that the people um, can bid on, and everything that's raised goes to uh, the program there. So again, Stephen, thank you for your leadership. Great.